All right, welcome everyone. Today I'll be going over the best Azami Kiba gadget spots that I've managed to find on the chalet map. And overall, I've managed to find around 20-ish spots across the whole part of the map. So we'll be starting from uh, the basement. And if you go into the blue hallway on the blue stairs, you can place a Kiba gadget above the stairs. And what it does is gives you a corner looking at the library of blue stairs. And if you hold it from here, you should be able to see if somebody uh, peeks or not. And if you look at it from their perspective, it's really hard to see if anybody's on the stairs. They would have to go prone, and if they do that, you should be able to pick them off easily, because in prone, you're super slow. Uh, the next one, what you can do is you can go into the snowmobile garage, and you see this beam right here. Uh, if you place it right here, it should cover the part of the stairs. So if somebody's pushing from the stairs, they won't be able to see you in the blue hallway as you're holding with with the double kiba gadgets so if they're pushing the only thing that they'll be able to see is basically uh, the connector and a little bit of a side here all right next spot that i'm going to be checking is the snowmobile garage if you uh chuck one of your kiba gadgets on the snowmobile right here uh it should be covering this part of the snowmobile and if you do it on the door as well you should have a double wall here and it should be looking at these two soft walls so if you're in the connector you should be holding the stairs and the the walls easily from here but of course if you don't want to do that what you can do is uh you can place one of the gadgets that looks straight in the middle of the snowmobile and it should be covering like this so it'll cover most of the soft walls and if you're peeking from the hole here the attackers from the outside most likely won't be able to see you so it's kind of like a nice spot to have as you won't be immediately exposed to the enemies now there's a couple of niche spots that you can use for the kiba gadget if you're holding um from the wine cellar to the snowmobile garage so if somebody's pushing blue uh what you can do is you can chuck a Kiba gadget right here and it blocks the sight from the blue door but if you're holding this you won't be able to see it but you can uh, kind of use this to their advantage as uh, they would have to peek the door from either the side and you can do that too as well next spot i'm going to be showing you is in the wine cellar itself this is a pretty much self-explanatory spot uh, if you go here uh, where the wines are uh, covering this uh, a wooden box here uh, you should be able to place a gadget somewhere beneath the middle ish area like right here and it should cover most of the walls so you have like a double way of peeking this side door which uh, makes it a lot tougher for the enemy to push now if we go from here to the desk area there's actually a couple of ways you can use it you can place a gadget right here on this edge here or what you can do is you can place it beneath it it'll cover the whole way and then place it at the very edge right here and what you have now is like a double peak area. So what you can do here is you can actually uh, trick the enemies somewhat. What you can do is you can go prone and go on the right side. And then you know that you switch here and then peek from the right side. Then from the left side as well. Just go prone and then peek the door on the left side. Like it's a really, really good spot to have. Now moving on from downstairs to the gaming room slash bar. Um, if you go into the gaming room... You can see that this window is quite uh, easily defended from the door itself, but if you want a rotation, what you can do is you can open up the wall and see where exactly is the best spot to place it. Place it on the pool here. It should be covering most of the window, so if you're trying to rotate, peek the door, it's pretty easy to do that. But if you want to hold the door a little bit better, uh, what you can do is you can place the Kiba gadget way below here and then open up the wall from this side and then you can hold the door from here or maybe from this side here so you have like a, a double peek depending if you want to uh, remove this uh, eBay gadget spot but overall it's not a bad spot to have as it'll confuse your enemies and if they start shooting at you you can just take a cover behind the wall here and they won't even know that there is a eBay gadget now if you move on from gaming room to the hallway right here if you want to prevent a rush from uh basement side what you can do is you can place keep a gadget right at the edge here and place another one literally next to it as it prevents or rushes you would have to destroy it first and then move on as uh, you can hear that sound you can basically peek the stairs and pick them off before they can get anybody all right moving on from the hallway to the dining room slash kitchen area there is like pretty much not a lot of spots that you can use here there's simple ones that you can do is if uh, enemies open up these uh, walls you can place a gadget on the desk here covers most of the walls so you can do like a double peek from left and right side 
And if the enemy is also pushing from uh, behind, you can place a Kiba gadget here. So it covers uh, this half wall here and it makes the whole of the site a lot easier. All right, moving on from the dining room to the kitchen, I pretty much only found two spots here that you can use. Um, placing one here on the metallic part of the chair. Uh, it covers up most of the site and you can hold the kitchen door from here or uh, the wall if they break it. And uh, the other spot is, it's not that bad actually. Uh, if you place it here in the metallic part, it blocks off most of this area and you have like a very, very tight corner looking at the door or a uh, tight corner peeking at the wall a little bit. And as for the last spot, if we go from the kitchen into the trophy room, if you want to hold this, it's kind of a risky spot actually. Uh, what you can do is you can place the gadget on the beneath of the triangle here and it'll create a corner looking at the stairs. So if you're trying to hold the stairs, the enemy will not be able to see you actually. And you can easily just hold it unless they just run through and peek you from the left side. And if they run through, what you can do is you can just uh, pretty much just retreat from the kitchen area here and then go back to holding the corners right here. Alright, now if we move on to the upstairs, there's quite actually a lot of spots here. So starting off uh, with this plant area here, if you can place a Kiba gadget right here. It should block most of the sight of people just holding the angles from the upstairs and if somebody's pushing from the stairs, you should be able to like a, do a double peek right here on the stairs themselves. Uh, now if we move on from the solarium to the master bathroom, uh, usually this window is a problem, so what you can do is you can block it off by placing a Kiba gadget right here in the middle. So if you're holding the bathroom, you won't be able to have a, a lot of issues just holding this area or just not get grenaded in general. It's kind of harder to do actually if you're from the attacker side. Uh, but uh, mostly just from getting shot, it's a lot more protective if you have a Kiba gadget right here. All right, moving on from the master bathroom into the piano room. Um, this is pretty much like a simple one if you place it right here in the middle of the piano. Uh, it blocks off the uh, hallway door. So if somebody is trying to rush from here, you can have like a double corner here. And if somebody's uh, trying to push from the window, you should be able to have a decent angle from here as well. Now, if we move on from the piano room to the office, um, there is quite a lot of spots here, actually. So the first one is pretty much an easy one if you place one here on the sofa. Uh, it blocks off the sight from uh, the guys peeking out from the window or from the door at the piano room. And from the back side, you want to protect yourself from the back side. What you can do is you can place a Kiba gadget right here in the middle and it'll block off the uh, sight of a person who is holding it from the window. The only thing that is a problem is that if somebody's going to jump in, you should uh, have like a little bit of issue because they have like a free jump in unless somebody's holding the master bedroom, but usually somebody does. So that should not be that big of a problem. And the last one is if somebody's pushing from the outside, what you can do is you can place a keeper gadget right here uh, and you should be able to hold the desk here and prevent the enemies from uh, pushing in and also prevents people from back of the side to be able to push you. So overall, not a uh, lot of bad spots in the office itself. Now as for the last couple of Kiba gadget spots that you can use, it's gonna be at the library. Uh, this one is pretty simple, just place it in the middle of this uh, wooden block here and it prevents the people from the outside of peeking you. So you can hold this window mostly and if somebody tries to push it from uh, the side window here, you should be able to pick them off most of the time. Of course, uh, always get the ADSs from Jaeger or Wumai as you will just get grenaded out of your spot. But if you back off here, from uh, library into the mezzanine. Um, there's also like a couple of spots here that you can use. For example, if you place a Kiba gadget right here, uh, it should block off the downstairs door. So if somebody's trying to peek you, you should be able to hold like a really tight angle from here, or you can just hold uh, the balcony area from this side right here. So overall, not a bad spot, but it's mostly just so you don't get shot from the people outside as you're holding and the library part right here. So overall, and the good combination of a couple of Kiba gadgets uh, makes a really decent spot to hold for the library and the stairs. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's uh, Azami Kiba gadget spots. If you guys found any other spots that are also useful, leave them down in the comments. Uh, if you liked the video, please click the like button and subscribe as I want to share my videos with more and more people who play Rainbow Six Siege. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one in a couple of days. Goodbye.